Hey guys, it's Anita here from Flower Folk Farm. I hope you're all doing really well today. I'm really glad you could come along and join me today. I thought I'd give you just a little bit of a tour of the farm and have a bit of a chat about some of the pests that are currently going on in the garden. Are you guys are muddy today. Okay, so I thought it might be helpful. Uh, a lot of you are probably experiencing very similar things to us here in Victoria. As we come into spring, we have a huge influx of pests, such as earwigs, thrip, um, a whole range of things. But what has happened is the ladybugs and all the predatory pests haven't had a chance to actually uh, hatch yet. So what we're seeing is um, a bit of an influx of you know, pests that are eating plants, but not very many of the uh, predatory pests yet. So I've had quite a few issues with earwigs and cauliflower thrips. So I thought what I might do is just talk you through how I manage those from an organic perspective and hopefully give you some hints and tips that uh, will help you in your pest management. Earwigs are nocturnal creatures, so during the day they tend to hide in moist areas under mulch, logs or rocks, and they are very partial to young plants and pollen, so they often move from flower to flower. Because of this, they're very helpful pollinators, but in large numbers, they destroy seedlings rapidly. The best way to keep them under control is with some of the bug traps that I have in the description below it's a liquid and you just pour it straight into jars and place out in your garden so as you can see here i've got quite a lot of damage from cauliflower or cabbage thrip and you can see it's just all around that center bit there a really great way to manage it is by making a spray made from mint and lantana plants. They have really strong repellent properties and you can make a tea out of those two plants and pop it in a spritzer along with some dishwashing liquid, just a small amount, and give a light spritz to your plants. Just be careful when using lantana, it is quite a strong pesticide and it can impact other bugs as well. Okay, so I hope that information has been helpful for you. If you're looking for organic ways to tackle earwigs and cauliflower thrip, I hope that's uh, given you some ideas. I'm going to leave a few links down in the description below just with some other resources that you might like to check out when you've got time and if you do have any questions please feel free to put them in the comments below and I hope you all have a wonderful week it's been great to have you along take care bye